Hi again, this is Mike. In this video, we're going to be going through exporting our cat character from 3D Studio Max 2011 to the UDK game engine, Unreal Game Engine, using Unreal Actor X. Um, and to start it off, first of all, you're going to need Actor X. Um, there's a couple places to download it, and I think it comes with UDK now. Not sure as far as if it comes with the actual build or not, but anyway, uh, find Actor X, get it to work. And uh, so then it'll show up in your utility panel. Uh, you might need to go into utilities and more and add it. Um, or you can just go in there and use it that way. I've added it to the, to the menu. I end up using Reset X form and Actor X enough that uh, it's good to chuck it in the menu. And with it selected, uh, I'm going to have my character in his root pose, in his setup pose. And you do that by just making sure you're not in animation mode. You go up to setup mode. And we'll go back to our utility panel here, to Actor X. And the first thing you want to do is set an output directory. And this directory is basically where you are going to keep your raw assets. So, you know, for my game, I basically have everything outside of and away from my UDK builds uh, as far as this root stuff, my max files and textures and stuff like that. And then when it's ready to go into the engine, um, just by the way UDK works, you're going to basically import it into the engine and it's going to get, it's going to land in the right place. Um, so I'll show you that along the way. But basically, you just want this to be a folder that you're going to remember. Um, and, you know, because once you get an Unreal, this is where you're going to need to find um, where all your stuff is. So choose output. There we go. There's our folder. And then our mesh file name, I'm going to call um, cat toothy. Just whatever you want. And then save ref, uh, mesh and ref pose. And you should see something along this lines. Unsmooth groups processed. Now the, the normal or the number one problem that I've seen people have when they when they try to export their original skeletal mesh and it throws them in error is that their material doesn't have or uh, their object doesn't have a material on it. Um, so even if the, the materials and stuff you're going to do in UDK are totally different than what you have in Max. It doesn't matter. It just needs some material on there. And in my case, uh, my character has a multi-sub material. Let's bring that up for you. Or actually, no, he doesn't. Uh, in this case, I, I, I build it down into one map. But this is where this is where you would set up if you wanted to have multi-sub objects and all that kind of good stuff. You're going to want to make sure that that's assigned and applied to your character and working good before you go bother and exporting it to Unreal and end up having problems when you get into the UDK side of things. So to summarize, make sure he has a material on it. And most, most importantly, make sure there's a texture map somewhere um, on, on involved as well. I don't think you can just put a, ba a base standard material. I believe you do need to have a texture map on them. So anyway, make sure you guys textured. <laughs> I could have probably just boiled it down to that really quickly. Um, all right, so he's textured. He's got a material on him. I have him in see-through mode. My guy's material is literally gray and then white for his teeth, just to keep things simple. Um, so I exported the skeletal mesh, and you saw the little dialogues pop up, and that's our PSK, the skeletal mesh. And now what we want to do is export the animations for this guy that we made in the previous tutorial. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the motion panel, pick on a cat bone, go into the animation mode by clicking that toggle. And then here is our animation, forward to the side, back to the other side. And so what we want to do, what we want to do is export out uh, all these animations. And we want them to be each 20 frames long exactly. That ends up being a perfect loop. And because frame 0 and frame 20 are exactly the same, I'm going to start at frame 1 and export 1 to 20, and that ends up being 20 frames. So the way to do that is to go back to our ActorX panel. We go set our animation file name, and it doesn't matter where this, this is right now, the, the time slider. We just type it all in. So our animation file name is walk forward. And then our animation, or actually, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm wrong. Animation file name is the name of the whole file that we're going to do here. So these are, these are going to be his walk anims. Sorry about that. So this is where all of my animations are all going to get jammed into this one file. And down here, anim sequence name is what I meant, and this is walk forward. So again, this is the set, and then this is the animation sequence name. And then our frame range, I'm just going to do 1-20. And then do digest animation. And you should see I have total frames 20, total keys, whatever. OK, same thing again. And we're just going to watch it just to double check. We're walking to the left, right? We're walking to the right. Yes, we're walking to the right. <laughs> Sorry. So walk right, 21 to 40, digest. Yep, good. Next, walk backwards, 41 to 60, digest. Good. And our last one, walk left. 61 to 80, digest. And you can see I did all that without going into this next window just because, I mean, 
after you've done it a couple times, there's no reason to, to have to check the animation manager every single time. It does a pretty good job. So once I've digested all those animations, now we bring up the animation manager bo uh, toolbox here, right here. Uh, and we have four animations. So right here is what we're going to be outputting. Right here is what we got ready and digested, ready to go. And so the cool thing is, is that you can keep digesting and adding stuff and, and messing around and changing and working and adding and doing whatever you want. And then when you decide what is ready to go out to Unreal, you just pick them. And I hold shift and click to get them all. And then you know move them over to the output package. And then I'm going to say save or save as. I'll do save as just to, just to make sure I know where we're going. And then it's going to go to the folder that was determined over here in the skeletal export manager. And I'm going to say cat toothy. You can call this anything that you want. Uh, walk anims. And this is our PSA, the animation file. Save. And so you should see uh, how many bones you have and how many sequences. So four. So now I have exported uh, a skeletal mesh. And I have exported a the anim set with four animations on it. And I'm going to load up UDK. I'm going to pause this real quick while that loads. I'll be back in two seconds. One. 